Hello, I'm Marshall Pampkin II, and this is my assignment 2.8 journal entry, Art versus Craft. It's difficult for me to answer the question, um, how do I define art versus craft, or, or how do I distinguish between the two? Um, for a long time, for me, it was simply a matter of uh, practicality versus aesthetic appeal or emotional, personal inspiration or relevance. Um, however, you know, in my early 20s, I started to meet a great many artisans, a great many who uh, blend craft and art, and I started to find it difficult to really distinguish. And so for me, for my mind, uh, if I were to weigh in on the debate of art versus craft, I'd have to say that line between practical versus um, aesthetic appreciation or personal emotional significance or relevance, um, I have to say that that is kind of the baseline, uh, but it's not the end all be all. Kind of like we say, you know, the ideal compromise is 50-50, but a compromise could be anywhere along the spectrum from 90-10 to 60-40 to 51-49, the way that I discern the two between the reading material and then just me personally. Um, comes down to practicality, versus aesthetic appreciation, not to say they can't blend. I think uh, architecture is one of the prime examples of where the two come together. We design buildings for tangible, practical purposes. However, that doesn't mean they can't have an, art, an artistic or aesthetic quality. Um, some of my artistic creativity has been inspired by that. Another thing when it comes to how well they blend together are images like the Euphronius Crater. Uh, the Euphronius Crater is, a, on the surface, it's it's a practical thing. These days, the bowl would be purely decorative. It would be purely artistic uh, for modern audiences, um, for art collectors, for anthropological collectors, things, archeological collectors, things of that nature. Um, but at the time that it was created, it was a ceremonial bowl. It had a practical purpose. Um, however, the fact that it, the paintings and murals, if you will, the illustrations on the bowl told a story. They served a purpose greater than the tangible, practical, everyday use, uh, like my coffee mug type purposes, um, is where that, that, I guess what today we would call artisan, that artisan aspect comes in and to me really puts it over the top as more of a work of art than say a craft. Uh, conversely, if we go to uh, Peter Barron's um, plate, a beautiful decorative plate that is in our reading material, that is something that, uh, you know, I see the artisan in there. Um, I, I, I see the artistic quality grafted onto that. However, it being anything other than a limited collector's item, um, which that was made long enough ago that I, I, I don't think that was uh, that was necessarily the intent. But anything other than a, a limited collector's item that we would, you know, people would do today, um, it's more of a practical thing. And therefore, to me, you know, that kind of pottery and dish making and whatnot, generally speaking, is more craft. Going back on the art side of things, however, the Leakuan group, I hope I pronounced that right. The Lacoan group, illustrated again in our text, um, is definitely an example of fine art. Uh, I, I, I see it as such partially because it is done purely for aesthetic and storytelling purposes um, as far as making a distinction between art and craft. Uh, it, it doesn't serve a practical purpose. That statue is not actually a coat hanger in disguise. Um, it's not a place for the Greeks to throw their togas up on, although maybe they did that. Um, it is an epitome of artistic development and aesthetic appreciation and how that developed up to that point in history. And it is there, again, for people to appreciate. It is there to help maybe tell a story, relate stories about certain Greek myths and fables and things of that nature right there. So to me, 
that is clearly fine art. Again, just the, the detail, the work, the craftsmanship that went into it, but goes beyond wanting to make a really cool plate. I'm not trying to knock Peter Barron, you know, the plate, the bowl, your critics could sit there and go, oh, well, at least it could be used for this. You know, this is all about aesthetic appreciation, storytelling, history, um, all these things that I appreciate as a performance poet, you know, so that's where I stand with that.